Okay, so I've been asked to talk about ex existentialism, which is something I don't really know a lot about. I do have a degree in philosophy, uh, but it's a degree in what's called Western analytical philosophy. I'm the wrong kind of philosopher. Existentialism is very much a continental thing, um, a French thing, a thing that involves polo necks. I have sat in Café Le De Margaux, which is apparently the café that uh, the French, French existentialist Sartre, um, that's my attempt at pronouncing Sartre, uh, used to sit in and drink coffee. And it's a very, very nice café. Probably a terrible tourist hangout and not really where cool French people sit these days and uh, do their thinking and their musing. But um, I'm, I enjoyed it greatly. Actually, I have a very, very sad story about uh, existentialism and Sartre. Uh, very early in my philosophical career, I had to read existentialism and humanism. And back in the good old days when you could only read books, you couldn't read anything online. Uh, we had a short library system in St. Andrews University. And uh, I managed to find out the guy who'd just booked out existentialism and humanism before me, a guy called Robin. And uh, he gave me that book and he said, oh, I'm, I'm off now to... Uh, to go to a fencing match. He was a very nice chap. And um, that night, on his way back from the fencing match, he died in a car crash. And uh, just one of these weird, weird things. And I always kind of ex uh, associate existentialism with instant death, which is probably uh, not very logical, but it is how it comes in my mind. And also a reminder that um, you never know quite when it's going to happen and you should probably live your life as full as you can when you can. Um, that's not really existentialist philosophy, I don't think. I always kind of think more sometimes of Sartre is famous for saying, hell is other people. And um, I think this might be especially true if you live with Simone de Beauvoir. That's not a very politically correct thing to say, but it is the truth. Uh, one thing I always like to think about when I think about Sartre is that he was an extremely ugly man. Uh, if you see pictures of him, he looks like he has actually been rearranged by Picasso. He's got eyes sticking out everywhere, big glasses. Um, but he was apparently a shagger. He used to sleep with lots of women. And you can do that if you're French and you're an intellectual. You can be as ugly as you want and women will still love you, which is interesting. And I, I do remember... This is probably very dismissive, but this is the kind of quality of my philosophical education in some parts. Uh, somebody telling me that uh, in his later years, Sartre went slightly crazy and believed that he was being followed by a giant lobster. I don't know whether that's true or not, but um, actually the first thought that comes through my mind is like, how big and uh, could we boil it and would it be good to eat?